It's been an impressive ride for Fort Wayne native Deshaun Thomas. From prep star at Bishop Lors to the national stage at Ohio State, Thomas has grown with each step of the journey. New Channel 15 Sports traveled to Columbus to spend time with one of the best high school stars to ever come out of the Summit City. Columbus, a crucible of athletic excellence, a city that embraces its stars. Now, one of those guys who probably could be one of the top scorers that came out of Ohio State. I mean, that's my goal is and my history and my legacy to be when I leave from here. And Thomas is well on his way. In two and a half seasons, the six foot seven forward has blossomed into a star. Deshaun Thomas. Helping to lead the Buckeyes to the 2012 Final Four and earning preseason first team All American honors this past fall. But the ride to stardom wasn't easy. In McDonald's All American at Bishop Lores, Thomas went from big man on campus to unproven commodity on a bigger stage. When Deshaun came, he was a very shy kid. Uh, you know, he, he didn't want to talk to people. Freshman year, I really wanted that more a lot vocal to players. I was always quiet, just come in and do what I have to do. My chance really went there as a freshman. You know, I had four seniors ahead of me. Playing for Coach Blackman and, and you know, Ray Lewis become had a green light and, and being a top scorer and you, you see these guys who you play with in AAU who played at college, one year in college and make it to the next level and you look like, dang, I played against these guys and I did well and maybe I can be in that position. It was kind of difficult. The turning point came last March. With the entire country watching, Thomas averaged nearly 22 points per game in the first four rounds of the NCAA tournament. Thomas, and more importantly, his self-confidence, had arrived. It played into a lot. But by me saying a lot of stuff and um, showing what I had, my, my abilities to show what I can help this team, it helped a lot. It got us to the Final Four. And, uh, and also help, help me for myself by you know, learning which, which more to the game it is. Now you, you see him walk through a gym or walk through campus and, and just his, his, his overall demeanor, his, his self-confidence is as high as it's ever been. He, he just recognizes that he's one of the top four guys that has the most experience and, and he's taking that leadership role on very well. Um, he, he'll say something when he needs to, he'll, he'll perform well when he needs to. So. Uh, it's just great to see him grow as a player uh, and as an all-around person. It's that last point that played the defining role in Thomas's biggest decision to date, bypassing the NBA for his junior season at Ohio State. And I think by staying in, you know, a couple years, two years, it helps you develop for the next level. It gets to you a lot. It was a lot of people just pressuring me, you should, you should go, you should go. But then... And then again, you know, God has great plans for me. Growing up in Fort Wayne, really when it wasn't easy. I mean, especially from where I came from and how I grew up, could have been somewhere else, you know, and probably wouldn't have been at Ohio State. Staying strong and, and believing in myself and knowing that basketball uh, can take me where I want to be. And that is the lasting impression of Thomas, a rising star in the midst of a whirlwind year embracing patience. It's all worth it. Being here in college, you know, you never, you never gonna get this back. You know, you, college is the most fun experience you ever have. So it's really worth the wait. Our special series on Deshaun Thomas continues tomorrow night. We'll take you inside game night at Ohio State as Deshaun and his teammates battle a feisty Winthrop team. And Megan, I won't give it away, but I will say it was a pretty good night on the court for Deshaun.